I'm just heading to the Innes Fly Fishery, a still water trout fly fishery here in Cornwall. I was last here back in December over the Christmas holiday period and I really, really enjoyed it. Managed to catch a few fish which of course helped. But I thought then I definitely want to come back a few times throughout the year. So the plan is to have at least one trip in the spring, another trip in the summer, a trip in the autumn and a trip in the winter again. And this is going to be great because being fairly new to fly fishing for trout, it's going to be good to learn maybe the different methods that you use, different times of the year, different and different flies, etc. So I am really, really looking forward to this. And the bonus is I've got a fantastic forecast, which of course is going to be good, good weather to fish in. So fingers crossed, I'll be able to at least catch one trout, um, but the main thing is learn, enjoy the day, and get a bit, get a bit more casting prep to practice, which of course is going to help with the saltwater fly fishing. All right, just got to pay, and they've got a system here where you've got a box there. You pop an envelope with your put, put your name on the envelope, put your money in, what you're what you're paying for, and uh, and pop it in the envelope. All right, what I've done, I've paid for the maximum, I've paid for a five fish limit. Um, not that I expect to five, catch five fish, but the reason I've done that is, is for time. Um, I wanna spend a good few hours here, and uh, if, I, if I, was, I did a two fish limit and I caught two fish quickly, then basically that's the end of the day. I can go and pay more money and pay for uh, more money for more fish for ca on a catch and release basis, but we'll pay, pay for five and uh, you never know your luck. But at least I know I'm going to get a good few hours trying to trying to catch the limit. That lake there on the left there we just passed in is, is called the Innes Lake and that's where they they hold the specimen trout, the big trout. And I'm going to give that a go that's maybe sometime this year or sometime in the future. Um, that would be great to, to see if I can catch... Uh, catch some really big trout. I've brought two rods with me today. I've got a nine foot eight weight with floating weight forward line, matching line. And I've got an eight pound leader. On this one, it's about 10 foot leader. And I'm gonna fish one fly at the point and one fly as a, a, as a dropper, which we'll have a look at in a moment. And then the other rod, bit longer, this is a 10 foot, slightly lighter. This is a seven weight, again, matching weight forward floating line. On this one, I've got a leader just under 12 foot, again, eight pound fluorocarbon. Same thing, different fly at the point and a different fly as the dropper. But what I think I'm gonna to do today, or at least to start with, is unlike last time where I didn't fish many different spots uh, because I found a spot that was producing and I kept going back to that. I'm gonna have a bit more of a wonder today. I'm gonna to try different swims, different pegs, see how I get on. I mean, if I find a hot spot, then obviously I'll stay there. But a little bit at one peg, one spot, move on to another spot. And, but basically just get to, get to know these lakes uh, a little bit better than uh, a bit more um, exploring than I did last time. Okay, got loads of lures with me this time. The wife treated me for my birthday back in back in January. And I, she said, "What do you want?" I said, "I'll oh, get me get me some trout flies." So, got a lot of trout flies with me, 
have a, have a quick look. I'm not going to go through all of them, of course, but I'll have a, a quick look um, to give you an idea of what, what I've got in a moment. All right, well, these are the flies that my wife very kindly treated me to for the birthday. So I've got lure flies here, just to give you a quick go through. Got some gold, gold head flash damsels, gold head fritz, baby dolls, um, montanas, whole selection of cat's whiskers, got uh, tadpole flies, Pittsford pea, concrete bowl, um, flash dancer, mini viva. And then in this section over here, it's mainly nymphs, nymphs, buzzers, and cormorants. Just quick, a few pheasant tail, hare's ear, black country, black cruncher, olive, dial backs, uh, buzzers, uh, cormorants, more lures, blood worms, uh, blobs, boobies what's that dad is and one or two others so my excuse can't be lack of the right flies we'll just stop before i start fishing on the other lakes just have a quick look at this innis lake oh it really looks good doesn't it lovely lake fish jump in there i really must i must have a go at, go at this at some point right what i'm going to start with on the point there I've got a tadpole fly known as a Pittsford pea. Um, I've had caught a few on that, so got a bit of confident confidence in that. And then on the point, about be about three foot from that, I've got a, a buzzer. I'm not sure what the name of the buzzer is. Buzzer with a orange orange and blue tip. I'm told that orange. An orange tip is, is, is good. So that's what we're going to start with. And on the other rod, I've got um, different flies. Okay, I'm just going to going to let it sink down before I start drawing it in and then I think I'll, what I'll try is just a s very slow figure of eight but I've seen many people experience they mix, mix the retrieve up um, so we'll try that as well oh I just had a I just had a take then as I was lifting yeah, I saw the saw the line go. Just as I was drawing it in um, to recast, just there was a little tug. I'm doing a bit of a fan cast, starting there and then moving, moving over. I'm going to move close as I can to that overhang there and try and try and cover as much ground. Well, I've had a move to another another peg. There's a bit more ripple here. Um, and on this one, using the other rod, on this one as the dropper, I've got a pheasant tail nymph. And then down at the point, another lure, which is a flash damsel, gold head flash damsel. damsel. Well, at last, I'm in. This is, a, this is the fourth swim, and I've been trying the different flies, you know, the, the two different rods with the different fly setups. But this is, this is on the rod with the, the Pittsford P, and I'm not sure which, and I think it's a buzzer uh, as the dropper. And finally, finally I'm in. Now, many of you picked up on the last one about how I, I do that. I'm trying to avoid doing that um, when I'm playing a fish. Um, but fantastic. So this has taken me, oh, it's taken me an hour and a half to get the first fish. Ooh, there's more following it. 
Now, what's it taken? What has it taken? They do, they do fight well, these, these rainbows. I think, I think it's taken the dropper. I think it's taken the dropper. Looking at where it is on the leader. Yeah, I think it has. It has. Do you know what? I think I've got two. Can't have. I think I've got two fish here at once. <laughs> Not sure. I think I have. Yeah, because I've got this one, this one on. Yeah, I have. I've got two. Well, it's like mackerel fishing. I'm sure plenty of plenty of you that regularly uh, fly fish for trout with with droppers and with one or two droppers have had this happen before. Oh, this is going to be interesting. Okay. Can I get two in? This is going to make it a little bit difficult, to be honest. Yeah, I've definitely got two. So one on the one on the Pittsford P. And one on the buzzer. Oh, how am I going to get two in? I'll get the first one in, I suppose, is the answer. Oh. There. <laughs> Can you believe it? Gonna have to take my time and wear, wear them out, I suppose. Right. Two at the same time. Come on then, you experts. What do you do now? Do you take the first one in the net or do you take the second one? point one. I want to take the first one I think and then oh no that's not going to work it's got to be the it's got to be the point one otherwise he's just going to pull pull the other one out the net oh. Point one looks to be a bigger fish. Ah, oh, got it. Right now, I should be able to get the other one now. Oh, come on. Oh, dear. Oh, no. Lost it. Oh, frustrating. Well, I lost one of them anyway. Well, I didn't, the one I lost at the edge there, um, I didn't lose the fly, it didn't break the line. Um, but obviously the hook came out, but 
that was a buzzer can't remember the name of the buzzer but it's got orange tip and the other one on the Pittsford P yeah that's uh well that was great fun yeah I wasn't sure all I could see was that one on the on the dropper because obviously that was higher but then I suddenly saw at first I thought the other one on the point was just following it and I got it and I couldn't make my mind up would which one do I net first do I net the one on the point or do I net the one on the dropper so I net, netted the one on the dropper first but of course the one on the point pulled it out the net so then I net, netted the one on the point and I had this one the, the other the, the one on the dropper right at the edge there got this one in the net and I'm trying to hand it in thinking it was spent yeah. and it's just gone flip but it didn't break I've got the got the fly back uh, but I'm, anyway not to worry I'm well I'm well pleased I should imagine that happens often doesn't it if you're fishing wa washing line with with three three flies but, um, I was saying a bit like mackerel fishing <laughs> that's the way to go that's the way they've been up in the top layers yeah. Yeah, so, uh, well, at least we haven't blanked. Okay, back out. I think I'll, um, I'll stay here for a bit, just, just in case I found, a, found where there's a few fish lying. I was chatting to another chap who I've met before here, and he was saying to me, yeah, if you wander, sometimes you'll find uh, they could be in pockets, um, little holding areas. Right, I've had a change of tactics. There's a lot of fish that seem to be fishing on the surface, a lot of jumping. And chatting to a chap earlier who's a competition fisher, he said, oh, he's had a, quite a bit of success fishing what is called the washing line method. Um, so what I've got now at the point, I've got a cat's whisker booby that keep, will keep the, keep the flies high. So in other words, they're saying that they, they're feeding high in the water. That will keep the flies high. Then I've got two droppers. One is a dial back and the other is a buzzer. And we're going give, to give, give that a try for a while. Um, because there's a lot, a lot of signs of fish here. Um, but and apart from the ones that I've caught, I'm not I'm not getting them to take. So I'm just wondering if I'm fishing, if I'm fishing with the lure fly at the point, even though I caught, whether I'm fishing a bit a bit too high in the water. I, I don't know. But um, the whole purpose of of me with the fly fishing now is to experiment and try different try different methods and learn learn the different methods. Um, but we'll see. We'll see if this works. Just it'll be, it would be nice. I must admit to catch the catch on a on a different different method than I'm used to. I'm not sure if I've got the washing line set up correctly. I, I think my leader might be a little bit too short uh, for it. But never mind. Cat squiss for booby and um, two droppers. Well, it's been absolutely ages since I since I hooked the last last fish. I, I've I had a wander to the other lake, and it had gone it fished several different spots, and uh, it just just gone dead. So what I did uh, had a bit of a break, and I've changed flies, and I've got uh, at the at the point. I've got a, a dancer, like a, a, a small lure, a mini lure, and then two, dro two droppers, one a, a, called a black cruncher, and the other one a buzzer. And it seems, seems, to have, seems to have done the trick, or it's either that or they've, just, they've literally just come back on the feed again. So again, not sure not sure what's caught it looks like one of the one of the droppers has tempted the fish
looks like it's the buzzer. Yeah, it looks like it's the buzzer. Well, that's good. That's, so I was, I'll be honest, I was getting a bit despondent. Um, just not, not getting any, any action. Um, just the way it goes. And time, time, was get, time was getting on a bit. Didn't have any l luck with the, the the sort of washing line method with the with the booby at the tip, but that that just could have could could be good because it because it had gone dead. I don't know, but it's just just good to try did try different different methods and and in particular different flies. Yeah, it's, it's taken it, it's taken the uh, taken the buzzer, which we'll we'll have a look at in a minute. Wanna wanna get it get it out? For that, that's for those of you that are interested in flies. I don't know if the camera will, the camera will pick it up. Small small buzzer. A little, little orange, orange and green, orange and green tip. And what I've got on the point, that one, a dancer, a mini lure, and then on the other dropper, a black cruncher. Right, I'm in again. I've had a little move, not much of a move. There's my bag where I was before. Um, the reason I moved, I started seeing a, a lot of activity where this this outflow is, this water outflow. Um, so I thought, well, I'll give it a try. Yeah, it looks like it's uh, it's on one of the droppers again. It's like the top dropper this time. So obviously definitely pays to, to fish a dropper. Um, gives a choice. Thank you. 
only problem is I find with fishing fishing the droppers is um, when you catch a fish you get again in a bit of a tangle flies all over the place let's get my priest yeah so not much of a move a few yards but made the difference that time nice condition fish also changed the point fly to uh, cat's whisker which I've caught with caught on before yeah that's the only other thing of fishing all these several flies is um, getting them in the net anyway what yeah this one ah this time it took the the black cruncher a nymph nymph fly oh, I just got to shoot up to the up to the van unfortunately I've gone uh, I'm worried that my sound recorder batteries are getting low and I've gone and left the spare batteries up in the van uh, but I'm, I need to get some more water as well as I run out of water thirsty work this is but what but what great fun this is Dave he's the owner of Innis here really really helpful trap uh, chap has helped me a lot with advice so I'm pleased Dave yeah you've got a few fish I've got some fish that's the main thing and, I, and I've, I'm having a great time again yeah plenty of fish moving out there today and uh, like I said we just restocked it again so but both lakes Sturrock and Corvus so um, in the next couple of weeks ahead there should be plenty of fish coming out and yeah good it should uh, it should yeah, carry good. on it's been very good the weather's been kind to us yeah so uh, the fish should, are started to come up and hopefully dry, dry fly will um, will be the way to go in the next few weeks hopefully I noticed this morning earlier not early morning but when I started about mid-morning a lot of activity on the surface you, yeah. could, you, could, you could see all the flies yeah yeah so obviously that's what they're coming up for a lot yeah. of jumping as well I think small white flies on order um, all right okay um, I don't know what they are and, I, and, and they're hard to imitate you know and uh, yeah. as I expect because um, a lot of people have been trying the dry flies they've been that successful a few no. people have had them on and lost them but um, there's, there's buzzer action off but um, not in great numbers yet it's still cold isn't it yeah I've had them um, I had, I've had one um, I had two on at once the, f the first one I caught but I, I lost one on I had one on a Pittsford P and one on a buzzer oh, yeah. and the two I've literally just had one on a buzzer and one on a, a nymph a cruncher oh, yeah. so it looks like the buzzers or the nymphs no, were starting to work. Uh, yeah it was what uh, apart from the one on the pits on this on the lure yeah. Um, but yeah it's good fun Dave yeah, it's well, good fun it's, it's, uh, hopefully it'll carry on for a few weeks yet because the, the one good thing about it I know the weather's been cold but the water's not warming up it no. uh, means to say that we should have good fishing right into June and July now. Yeah. Because this time last year the water was already warm, you know, and uh, by the time we got to the end of June we were in a bit of trouble with the fish, you know. But uh, fingers crossed this year it will carry on. Yeah. I'm going to treat myself one day and have a go at the, the big fish lake. Yeah, well, yeah. Um, if, you, if you fancy a go in there today, have a little go. Um, you know, you, if you catch one, you can okay. let it go if, yeah. if you want to, you know. But, um, if you, if you want to have a go in there, by all means, do have a go now. Okay, well, some, all right, we'll see. Because there's some fresh stock ones in there. There's a couple of, um, last week we put a couple of doubles in, so really a good chance of catching a really big one. You know? Yeah, and I've got eight pound leader on, yeah, so that's the, that's the minimum, yeah. yeah. Yeah, by all means, have a go. Okay, thanks for that. No, nice to see you. Well, I was just about to say I'm going to call it a day and, and close the, and, and finish the video and I've got another one.
you know, I, I really got to get going. Um, oh, come. But this, if I can land it, this will be my four or five. And I'm really tempted now just to see if I can make the five. I might have to phone the wife and say, I'm going to be a bit late. And this is the first one on the on the other rod, the 10 foot rod. But I have changed, um, changed the, the point fly. I've got, I'm back on the Pittsford P, which has rapidly become one of my favourites. Pittsford P is on the point and um, I can't remember what it is. A, a, nymph, a nymph, I think, as, as the dropper. Oops. I've been having, having trouble with these droppers. I mean, I've got all sorts of different uh, ways to set them up. I've got the, the um, I think it's called the Surgeon's. Yeah, I think it's called the Surgeon's Knot. Um, I've got uh, some done with tippet rings. Um, and I've had a, had a little bit of a trouble with them tangling, which has been annoying. I've caught caught a a lot of the a lot of the trout I've caught have been on this over the trips that I've done up country when I on my first trip and then uh, trips here over the holiday period on this Pittsford P. Beautiful condition. That's going to go on the smoker. Yeah, I'm going to smoke some. Um, I might actually smoke them all and, and try and do some diff different recipes with smoked smoke trout okay what I think I do because I've, I've really got to go now but what I'll stop off head on back to the van and stop off at a few of the swims just to see just to give it a try on the way back to see if I can catch catch number five uh, but if not it's been a great, been a great day. Well, what a day that was. That, that was, that was a lot of fun. Great fun. I almost almost got the five limit um just that that when i had the double losing that double would have got the five but it doesn't matter i've had a huge amount of fun today really enjoyed it again and did a bit of experimenting with different flies which i wanted to do tried try out different flies and i caught trout on several different flies but hopefully come back again in the summer 
and do a bit more experimenting, a bit more practice and, and hope to catch, catch a few more. But I'm late. In fact, it's gone six o'clock now and my wife has been, uh, will be thinking, because she would have expected me back before six o'clock, she'll be thinking it's six o'clock, it's beer o'clock and, he, and he's not back. Where is he? So yeah, so got to get going for more reasons than one. So once again, I hope you found that useful and many, many thanks for watching.